Hi, in this video I'm going to tell you exactly why your visual effects don't look realistic and how you can fix this problem with one simple but very effective technique. To this date I have almost never talked about this but this is the main reason that I have been able to create epic and realistic looking visual effects. So I'll share exactly what that one thing is and I'll even show you how you can implement it as well so make sure you watch the video until the end. This is part 3 of my free 6 part video training series about visual effects and you can access them by clicking the link in the description below. So we've already talked about which software you should use to create epic visual effects. And I have also explained why using a render engine is so important to create epic and realistic looking visual effects. If you haven't watched my two previous videos yet, make sure you do that right away because we have covered a lot of important things there that you don't want to miss out on. Now I'm super excited because I'll share something with you that has allowed me to create epic and realistic looking visual effects and it even allowed me to work with international and high paying clients. And because of this technique I was able to get five figure projects. The first technique is of course my software setup. Cinema 4D and Octane are lightning fast, so if you're going to be delivering fast that's definitely a plus. Plus. But an important tip when it comes to creating super realistic renders is actually super simple. Yet a lot of people skip this part and that's why their visual effects don't look realistic. And that's simply to look at reference. When you're trying to achieve something, look at as much reference as possible. Don't try to just rely on your imagination. When you're trying to create a teacup, don't think of the cup and then just a white color on it. Try to really see it in detail. Actually look at it. Either look at videos online or go see it in real life. Seeing an object in real life gives you a completely different understanding of how it works, how it reflects, how it has a little bit of bump, how nothing is perfect, how you can see that these edges are not perfectly straight and like they have a little bit of aging effects on there. It's never perfect. It has some weathering and what your task is, is to see, uh, depending on whatever object you're going to be modeling or creating, is to look at reference from similar objects and to make it match as close as possible possible. Basically your reference is going to be your blueprint. A lot of people just think of creating something and then they just start right away. And let me tell you, it's never going to look perfect. If you have those objects side by side, ideally in similar lighting conditions, you can literally replicate things. And if they look identical, who is going to tell you that something looks fake or not? This technique is even used when you're working on things that aren't real. So let's say you want to create a UFO. You've never seen a UFO so you don't have reference for it, right? Well, wrong. You're actually going to be thinking of things that fly. So any aerial vehicle that existed in the last century or any aerial vehicle that has been invented or a concept, go and look them up as a reference and start puzzling everything together until you come up with an original UFO ID. You will see that um, aerial vehicles all have these blinking lights and without the lights everything is going to seem off. They have little stickers on them as well when you go up close. You will see aging. So you want to see all these details and puzzle them all together in your unique object. So whatever you want to create in real life with visual effects, nothing looks perfect. Look at every single detail that isn't perfect on an object and you will get photo real results. I'm pretty sure you can come up with some really interesting stuff using this technique. Because of this technique, I have achieved super realistic results and it's actually super straightforward. Everybody can literally do this. Now what I want you to do is give this a try today or tomorrow so you can start building some momentum and get results already. I hope that's clear enough. Try this and let me know how it goes. Go and look something up, watch it in detail. A few years ago they were rearranging the garden of my mom. So I was there just to look if everything was going uh, as it should and they brought these industrial machines there to dig holes in the ground and stuff like that. So these machines they all kind of look like robots in a more humane way. So they don't look sci-fi but they have a lot of details that you could use to create a robot. So whenever I looked at those machines I saw a robot. I was looking how the arm was moving, how many cables were connected to make that arm moving, how the suspension worked, how the material looked because it has always been standing outside so it had some weathering, some dirt around the edges and like yeah a lot of aging effect to it. You can also see if you look at the paint job it's not just uh, yellow or orange, it also has some kind of bumpiness, it's not perfectly smooth and you can see it reflects light in different ways. So by studying these things you will be able to create more realistic robots. by just looking at industrial machines. So go out there, go and hunt at everything that is an interesting object. Anything can be an interesting object. Even a doorknob. 
I mean, once you start really paying close attention to an object, everything is interesting. Anyways, you can always send me an email if you have any questions to hello at learnepicvfx.com. And this is only the beginning. If you like this, then I have some good news for you. Soon I'll be releasing the Epic VFX Masterclass, where I will be giving away all my best tips and tricks in visual effects. Animation and advanced video editing are all things that will be covered. I'll be guiding you step by step through the process that made me succeed as a visual effects artist. You will be able to follow along to create epic visual effects yourself. Seriously, with my secret steps, everyone is able to create epic VFX. That's said the masterclass is going to launch in a few days so make sure you keep your eyes open if you're not on the waitlist already the link is in the description and yes this will be the best and most up-to-date training i have ever released and it contains everything i have ever learned about visual effects combined into one course with steps that are super clear to follow in the next video, I'll show you a complete plan from the beginning to end. The exact steps you will need to follow to become a visual effects expert. I'm literally going to pull back the curtains and show you every single step you will have to take because I will literally share the complete game plan with you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one because you ain't seen nothing yet. Until then, create epic videos.